All right, continuing with um, graphing now, still on 5.1, but very simple questions here. Does the parabola open up or down? Well, before we can decide this, we need to write it in order, in standard form. So that means it's a negative 2x squared plus 6x plus 4. All right, we need to write it in order. Now that it's in order, to figure out whether it's going up or down, it's the number that's out in the front of that x squared, and that number is negative. Since it's negative, that means it is opening down. What a frowny smiley face is. Um, look at me. Look at me, I'm sad. Meow. Okay, next up is writing those in order. So, gotta write this one in order. 3x squared minus 5 x minus 7 when I write it in order. 3x squared, that means it's a positive out in front, so it is going up. Oh, happy, so very happy, so very happy. Look at that, now he's a unibrow. Okay, let's take a look here at the next ones. Find the vertex and the axis of symmetry. Now, when doing these, you'd have to know how to find the vertex, and here's how you find the vertex x equals, here's your formula, negative b over 2a. So, this is in order, which is the first step. This right here is your a, this right here is your b, and this is your c. So plugging it into the formula, it's negative 12, because that's b, over 2 times your a, which is negative 3. Well, that ends up giving us negative 12, over negative 6, and when you divide those two, you end up finding 2. So here's what that tells you. That tells you that x equals 2. Well, I'm supposed to find the vertex. The vertex is a point, which means I need to find an x and a y. So to find y, I take this 2, and I plug it in everywhere where I see an x. So this is now negative 3, 2 squared, plus 12 times 2 minus 8. So, 2 squared is 4. So this is like saying negative 3 times 4. Plus, well, 12 times 2 is 24 minus 8. And that's like saying negative 12 plus 24 minus 8. Well, negative 12 plus 24 is 12, and 12 minus 8 is 4, so now I know what y is, y equals 4. So we have our point. Our point for this is x is 2, y is 4. That's our vertex point. So to find the axis of symmetry, what that means is, if I was to have a graph like this, the parabola, the vertex is the, the, the min or the max, in this case it's a minimum. Okay, so that's your min point, that's your vertex. Okay, what that means is the axis of symmetry is if you were to draw a line straight through that point, right? If you were to draw a line straight through that point, it would be a mirror image on both sides. That's what the axis of symmetry means. Okay, well, no problem. Drawing a mirror image has to go through that point. So it's a vertical line, the vertical line has to go through that point, and vertical lines are always x equals something. Well, what's the x value in that problem? 2. So your axis of symmetry is x equals 2 for that problem, and your vertex point is 2, 4. So taking a look quickly at the next one, we need to rewrite that in order. So it's negative 2x squared minus 8x plus 7. The formula is x equals negative b over 2a. So negative negative 8, because that's b, over 2 times a, which is negative 2. Well, that becomes positive 8 over negative 4. So when we do that, we end up getting negative 2. So we now know that x equals negative 2. So to find y, just need to plug that in. So this is 7 minus 8 times negative 2 minus 2 times negative 2 squared. Well, this is a 4. It's a negative 2. Negative 8 times negative 2 is positive 16. And that's a 7. 
So I have 7 plus 16, and that's a negative 8. So really, I have 7 plus 16 minus 8. Well, 16 minus 8 is 8, so really 7 plus 8 is 15. So when we plug it all in, we get 15 for y. So I know that my point is negative 2, 15. So to find my axis of symmetry, it's whatever the x value is. So x equals negative 2 is correct because that's where the mirror image will be on your graph. And when we come back here, we'll figure out how we can write in standard form.